All right, are you happy or sad? Which way? Oh, I guess. Oh, you're happy. And you are? Pomona Bullets. I guess I'm happy. Oh, I'm always happy, bitch. I am Baroque Medusa. This is Top Shelf Hijinks, and we clink clinking, bitches. Good morning, Bestie. Good morning, Bestie. It's actually morning time because we're starting early today. I know. <laughs> yes, we are. Good morning, world. <laughs> it's the spring forward thing, I guess. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah. Possibly, possibly not. Well, my son's on spring break, I guess. I, I don't know. I always thought spring break was the same time, like, for everybody. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I thought, too. Um but not really. <laughs> yeah. I was like, how, how, how are they going to go to Cabo and, and do the wet t-shirt concerts all like different weeks? <laughs> I guess, right? Cabo's making the money then if it's a different week for everybody. <laughs> Damn you, COVID. <laughs> you fucked it all up. <laughs> is he sleeping right now or is he already awake? Uh, he's awake. Oh, okay. I thought he would be sleeping in or I don't know. Is he a sleeper in? Sleeper uh, in her? Um, Yes. Yes, I think he's at that age where, you know, naps just are just like part of his DNA. Uh, good. <laughs> so that means he's becoming an adult. Yeah. <laughs> Adulting. That's right. I'm taking a nap and we get done. I know. <laughs> Shit. I'm all, oh, it's a nap time. Oh, siesta. Let's do this. That's right, bitch. Let's do this. Oh, my goodness. Um, You know what? I didn't even ask you. Is your car fixed oh um, yeah it's it's been fixed um oh. i got it back like a week and a half later i want to say oh nice okay yeah somewhere around there oh, oh yeah oh did i tell you that the, the bumper ca- was there's a cable hanging out of the bumper yeah you told me that oh, okay oh. so that okay so that's why i'm like i don't know if i told you that so <laughs> i fucking i don't know if i told you but i went back or they told me to come back and they're like, well, yeah, it's covered under your warranty. I'm like, it fucking better be, bitch. I'm <laughs> like, you're funny. Let me check and see if it's under the warranty. Oh, <laughs> no, we're not go- We're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy looked at it, and he's like, oh, they didn't attach a, um, I guess they didn't, like, not nail it down, but there's, like, something that they needed to put inside the bumper so it stays attached, and that's all they did. And I'm oh. like, oh, how could you forget that? But whatever. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. I was driving by. There's there's like a little um collision. I guess it's like a auto body. Fix, yeah, auto body place. And they said making friends by accident. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> they got jokes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, these folks got jokes. <laughs> They should take that act on the road. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're here all night. Right. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, it, yeah, but I was like, hey, you know what? Good one. Good one. I, um, so yesterday I was getting a TV delivered to my house. Oh. Yeah. For your room or for uh, where? Well, for the bedroom. So in my. Okay. No, no, I'm sorry for the living room, but I was going to take the living room TV into my bedroom because in my bedroom, I have a freaking dinosaur of a TV. Okay. It, it, it's, it's a flat screen. It's what this thing weighs at least. Oh, it's the older, older uh-huh. version. Got yeah, it. I don't even think Hitachi is even making TV. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't think so either. So. <laughs> But I'm the type of person like, hey, if it's not broken, like exactly, uh, I don't care, I don't care. But it does not take um, Netflix. It doesn't do my. Prime. It's not a smart TV. No, it, it doesn't okay. even. And I have this little Joey Hopper thing from Dish, and it it still doesn't even read that. Okay, so it sucks, but. Again, I don't really watch TV in my room. I, I I don't do the white noise. I don't I don't care. I it's just in my room. Okay. And so I I have a new TV that's in the living room and right. it's like a 75 inch. I don't know. Nice. It's, it's just huge. And these guys that 
deliver it. Well, I told my son, first and foremost, it's Saturday and this is a, my weekend that I do not work. Okay. I was going to sleep in, be a bum as always. Right. Uh, all I hear is ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. <laughs> How, I, I, <laughs> girl? I fucking wake up. I'm like, fuck. What time is it? Nine o'clock. My I, my phone has like a gazillion text messages that I don't. Know. Where are you like, at? This TV's heavy. Yeah, I was just like, holy shit. I'm trying to find a fucking bra to put on. <laughs> that kind of Just runs put a down. On. That's what I do. Yeah, girl. Exactly. That's exactly what I did. I told my son, answer the door. It's the TV people. And I just threw a hoodie on and I run downstairs. I didn't brush my grill. I didn't do anything. I was just a hot mess. And they <laughs> are like, where, where do you want this? Where do you fucking think? <laughs> so they put it in. I said, do you guys install? Are you going to hook it up? Because I don't know. And they just keep shaking. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, they don't speak English? Uh- <laughs> See, how did you know? Yeah. Like either that or they're fucking um they're deaf I guess I'm or... all let's go Google Translate like um let's... <laughs> sorry <laughs> facts like let's do this um yeah so they make a hot mess in my house though it's so just... they actually installed it for you yeah they took my TV down oh, they... and they put it oh, okay and then they put. The, the big TV up, but they're taking it out of this huge fucking box and there's styrofoam that they're Everywhere. taking off. And it, yeah, yeah, they don't give a shit. And another thing that I, this is just going to be a rant for me today. Um, They don't even take off their shoes, which. Oh, well, they're not supposed to. They would have a liability if they you got You know hurt. what, though? I had little booty covers. Like, I ain't got time for that, bitch. Well, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm just like, all right, dude. Like, you guys don't speak English. You don't want to take <laughs> off your shoes. Like, do you like, want the TV or not? <laughs> I was like, okay, is this? Are you Geek Squad? I don't think so. But okay, um, <laughs> no, because it's from Costco. But all right. And so, how they, much was the TV? Did they have it on sale? Uh, they did or, not have I it guess, on sale. No, I was wondering because it's like tax tax return season or whatever it's called. Oh. So I figured everything was on sale. You know. That's another thing that I'm going to rant about. But <laughs> I was like, damn, this year I didn't owe. I, I hate. Okay, well, good. You didn't owe. Yeah, but everybody's like, I can't. Oh, it's tax. It's tax. I'm like, yeah, well, maybe you need to have like five fucking kids and work at McDonald's to get like $15,000 back or some shit. I don't know. Because I don't. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I broke even. I, That's all exactly, it. Exactly. Exactly. I'm just like, what the fuck? fuck walmart's having to sell because who's getting money like <laughs> I, cannot, I, I don't know i'm just so thankful like woof. i only yes please give me the 230 fucking three dollars thank you like <laughs> i'm good Shit, at least you don't know it yeah i i don't know i don't know how people get so much goddamn money back I'm. I don't know. I'm lost. I, I'm. I'm in, I'm in the wrong tax bracket or something. Oh wait, you're I, doing your taxes by yourself? No, TurboTax does them. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm like you. I would honestly. I would suggest finding a, a not an attorney. What are they called? A, a public a, an accountant. They're gonna charge you up the ass, but you got a fucking house and you have kids. You would. You should be getting more than fucking two hundred thirty three dollars back if you uh, go to an accountant. They'll probably charge you five hundred dollars, but I can guarantee they'll get you at like three G's. They'll find ways. I'm, I'm sure they're like, "Did you donate?" I'm like, "Yes, I gave a shit ton to fucking Goodwill." Okay. <laughs> I I do March of Dimes and um, St. Jude's. Like <laughs> you fi- you file um, head of household, right? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, I uh, yeah I, I I don't know. They always well, say. Well, I'm glad you don't owe. So yeah, I'm just glad. Yeah, because when I was in Kelly, oh my word. <laughs> no, yeah, I didn't even get 200 bucks back. It's just, just they're just like, bitch, you owe. Hmm. You owe. But it's okay because maybe 
What are you claiming on? Oh, but you have kids, though, so you can claim, like, fucking four. See, that's the thing. I don't. But if you claim four, what do you claim? Do you know what you claim? Yeah, I claim myself. And I I think that they're taking out more money, so I maybe will get something. That makes no sense. I don't know. But the uh, tax preparer on TurboTax, because I paid the extra to have the little oh to have them check virtual it? whatever yeah. and all that and yeah because i don't know what the hell i'm doing and they were just like oh we're so sorry pomona bullets you kind of slipped through the cracks like you're you, you're just like fucked yeah i think you need to see an accountant and fucking have them look over your taxes and fucking pay that fee that they're gonna charge but you should be getting money back especially if you're only claiming one and you have two fucking kids and a fucking house that you're paying a mortgage on. You know what? That makes no fucking sense. They don't even give a shit about owning a house. They're just like, how much interest did you pay? What the really? F- yeah, I don't like interest. Like, can't I just... I don't know. There was something that huh. happened during COVID where they gave me, like... Or or no, it was the, the when I very first bought the house. They were like, oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, you told me that. That's yeah. right. I remember that. Yeah. And now it's just like, they don't give a shit. They're just like, yeah pay up bitch <laughs> <laughs> shit <laughs> so, so, anyways going back to my tv these dudes put the tv they hook it up whatever uh-huh. um why do i not see the cables to the tv because i was going to take the old tv and put it up in my room right and what the hell did these dudes do it see well you know what i'm just gonna be real they fucking unplugged my samsung tv and plugged in the samsung tv i bought right and they didn't leave me any cables so they took the cables from the original they just they just unplugged the original and just plugged in the new one so where are the fucking new cables are they in the box maybe no, they took the fucking box with them, too. Oh, they were doing me a service by taking the trash. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn. I okay, know. boo. I was just like, what the? These and, and I gave them a tip. Why? 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 That that tip money could have been new fucking cables. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, that makes no sense. Boo. Sorry to hear that. Can you call, I guess, um, Costco, maybe? Oh, yeah. I tried. And oh. they just said, nope, we taped the cables to the back of the TV. Oh, the fuck like, no, you didn't. Like, you, like, just miss me with this shit. Like, I'm so over it. So can you just, I guess, order them from Amazon, I guess? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Boo. I know. Boo. That's my rant. But at least I have a TV. A bigger. Did, so did they install the, or they, did they move it upstairs for you? Or did they oh. get rid of your old one? No. Nope. Oh, I didn't think so. Yeah, it's they not like refrigerators. They didn't do shit. Like, really? I don't know. They didn't even take off their shoes, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Pomona Bullets. <laughs> so, how was your week? My week was okay, and I have an epiphany that is going to turn into a rant as well. So, let me ask you this, Pomona Bullets. Do you, like, get manicures, or how are your cuticles? Are your cuticles like just normal? Because my cuticles have never been normal ever. No, they I I hate them. They're they're not good. I have yeah, they're bad. Okay, so mine are like paper thin, and I always look at people's cuticles, and they always seem like they're all even the ones that don't go to nail shops or whatever. They're always well, they're always well done or well manicured. I guess I don't know what the proper term is, and they don't look paper thin. Like they look thick. Mine, I always have hangnails, and like the especially now that it's winter. I guess winter's almost over. But my cuticles are just so fucking dry. So I went to the nail shop and I normally just get a pedicure. This time I said I need a pedicure and a manicure. Fucking just, um, I guess, cut my cuticles or remove my cute, you know, the the dry part. Yeah. If I'm making any type of sense. Oh, you are. Okay. So the lady's like, okay, your, man- or, I'm sorry, your cuticles are really bad. I'm like, yeah, no fucking shit. So she's like. Let's soak your cuticles in the cuticle remover with the water. So I sat there for like 10 minutes with both hands in the water with the cuticle stuff. Of course, it's easy to remove. But why it it didn't dawn on me until now 
I'm like, anytime I to, I go to the nail shop and ask to get my cute, or I guess a manicure with the cuticles, because you always sit in that solution. And I'm right. like, I never have hang nails. It's always just the cuticles that are fucking dry. And then like three days after I get done with the nail shop, I fucking have hang nails on all my fucking fingers <laughs> and I fucking look like trash. And it dawns on me. This was like last, I think I got my manicure done last Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. By Wednesday, I fucking have hangnails everywhere. And I'm like, why the fuck does this always happen when I get done? And I'm like, oh, duh. You're sitting in fucking that solution that removes the fucking hangnail. So, of course, it's going to, like, I guess, make your skin weak and then just fucking have hangnails everywhere. Uh, Does that make sense? uh, uh, I'm assuming that's what it is. Because I'm like, I don't have hangnails. And these ones are really fucking bad because I sat in it for 10 minutes. But I was just like, fuck, I can't fucking win. (laughs) <laughs> oh uh, you know what shit my nails i'm never are... gonna do that again i don't know i went on amazon kimono bullets and i bought the or i ordered the sally hansen's cuticle remover and then the cuticle push stick or whatever oh yeah push... and i'm like you know what i'm just not gonna get my fucking manicures anymore uh, because uh, uh. my fucking hands are so fucked up right now they were worse than just having dry cuticles that were cracked <laughs> oh yeah, I I have those too. I have those too. I fucking hate it. But yeah, those hangnails, it's are it's worse because they the, hurt. Yeah, it's the ones that you kind of have to just use a nail like fucking clipper to like. Yes. Ugh. Yeah, and they still and they still happen. I'm just like, yeah. okay, this needs to fucking stop. And I, no matter how much Vaseline or cuticle oil That's or right. hand cream I put on, it's just like, god damn it. That's my fucking rant. Uh, you know what? Just don't use your teeth and pull it and it starts <laughs> bleeding and shit. Because <laughs> I've done that shit. Oh my I've God. done that shit. Or I'm just like, ugh. And I pull it and it's like, it just rips all the way down to my knuckle. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, that's going to leave a mark because it's going to be hurt. It's going to hurt every time I wash my hands. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm just going to use hand sanitizer and not I'm wash. Like, maybe I should, right? And then I'm just, that would be worse, though. I know. It dries oh, it up okay. even worse. I was just going to say, because of the alcohol. Yeah. It's so fucked up. I'm just like, I don't understand how people don't have, like, hangnails and all that. But I'm like, maybe they don't wash their hands all the time. Or I'm just always washing my hands, it seems like. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. You're all dirty motherfucker. You don't have hangnails. I know you don't right? wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Yeah. Facts. Don't don't fist bump me. Right. <laughs> With your non-cuticle fucking hands. I guess elbow bump me so I don't have to fucking touch your fucking dirty hands. Period. Yeah. Give me your ashy elbow. <laughs> right. <laughs> no. Oh yikes. Oh people. Well, at least you got a mani petty. Okay. Yeah, as long as I get my pedicure, that never happened. Well, they don't put your feet in that solution. Otherwise, I'd probably have hangnails on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, why don't, why don't our fucking toes get hangnails? Right? Or I guess, I don't know. Possibly. I guess because we're not always washing them. I mean, we wash them when we take a shower, but we're not continually, like, washing washing them like we wash our hands, I guess. I don't know. Probably. That's kind of weird. I never thought about it. Come on. Hmm. I guess I'm now. I'm really gonna have to GTS. Sure, <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> yeah, food for thought. Let's just fucking find out. Hey Siri, <laughs> right? Oh my god. Okay, so I have one news article that I found kind of interesting, and then I'm like, come on, a bullets. We'll have her two cents in on in on this. So, in the state of Georgia, um, now I'm just not, I'm not gonna actually read. I read the article earlier this week. I didn't write notes on it or anything. Mm -hmm. But a kid was asked why she had, I think it was a she, I don't know if it was a girl or a boy, whatever gender they are, why they had so many bottles of nutmeg in their backpack at school. Nutmeg, okay. Nutmeg. And she said, or the student says, oh, it's for baking, or I guess for book." cooking class whatever cooking class Mm. all right so i I don't know if it was the principal the teacher or whatever they talked to the cooking class instructor they're like what the fuck with the nutmeg they're like what are you talking about i have no fucking um i guess cuisine or whatever the recipes that include nutmeg so i don't know what the fuck you're talking about girl did you know that kids are getting high off a nutmeg now stop that's what i fucking said 
tops. Nut fucking Meg is what they've been snorting, I guess, or getting high. I don't know how they do it. I didn't read the, the in-depth article, but it, it says that you can get high for 10 minutes, but then you have the worst hangover for the next couple days. And I'm just like, what are these kids doing? I don't ah. understand. What? Yeah, I'm assuming they're snorting it. You, yeah, they, I guess. Like, I mean, right, what happened to the pow- pow- It's sticks. a powder. <laughs> <laughs> right? Nutmeg? Nutmeg, girl. I'm oh, like, what the my. fuck? Can you guys, like, just... I don't know, man. I, I'm that... totally at a loss with, when it comes to society these days. Like, at a total fucking loss. Yeah, I, I don't get it. What, what the... Mm. Nutmeg. Well... What in in only ten minutes? What the fuck? That's the worst. That's what fucking, it says. That's yeah, the worst right? fucking. Well, uh, you can get nosebleeds for nutmeg. Like <laughs> for ten minutes? No. The hell? Nutmeg? I don't even like nutmeg in my fucking pumpkin pie. Yeah, I I, <laughs> I actually don't even like nutmeg. Yeah, it, it kind of reminds me of that whole. What was it? The cinnamon spoon? Yeah. Pink. Oh shit. Yeah. I don't know. I was just, I thought that was weird. But I guess they don't get high. Well, okay. To, like, segue off that shit. Like, yeah. They're, these kids are at school. They're drinking freaking Listerine. They're drinking it? Yeah, because there's there's alcohol in it. So they're drinking it. Oh, God like, damn. Just, are, are, you, are you kidding me? Hey, like, yo, Listerine, you're going to drink that shit? Like, ah, good. I hope their breath was, um, yeah. I hope their breath um, is actually fresh from doing that thing. <laughs> you're gonna, you're, how drunk do you, how much fucking Listerine do you really have to drink to get a buzz? Right? It, that's just, nah, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I guess it's better than f- that fentanyl I never, shit. I don't know. I never did any of that stuff growing up. I like, know. just that's so weird. That's weird. <laughs> like, I, what the fuck? I, I, fucking I still, Listerine. Okay. I just took a beer from my dad's fucking twelve pack, and yeah, like <laughs> right, <laughs> like the, the the normal shit, the normal yeah. way. Yeah, the normal way. Like who? Like, you really or or the um drink the Nyquil. And shit when they're not sick and they just like to get a head change. I don't know. Yeah, I don't understand this syrup concept where I think it's um co- corn syrup. I'm sorry, cough syrup, and yeah. they mix it with Sprite. I want to say I'm oh, like, yeah. I don't get that either. What is Whatever. that? What is that called? I think like little wing or, or I want to <laughs> say. I want to say it's syrup. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Kids these days. I know. I what? should be walking around with a cane and being, since I'm an old lady talking like this, like, who the fuck snorts co- um, nutmeg? <laughs> I know. That's so stupid. Let me do this before I hit algebra. <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes. Right. Maybe 10 <laughs> minutes. And then I just need to go home. <laughs> fuck, man. <laughs> Whoa, nutmeg. Hmm. Yeah, I just I'm like, come on, a bullet, get a kick out of this. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. I wouldn't snort anything brown. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, same. <laughs> just so fucking crazy. That is weird. These, these fucking kids. And what about that whole thing too, where they were like choking themselves until they got like euphoric feelings and shit. And all these were kids they choking were... themselves, or they were having somebody. Ch- I know, I remember that. Yeah, but I don't remember how it was happening, or if they were like, Ugh, I don't know. People are weird. Yeah, just... I blame social media as well because social media has a hand, or I guess a hand in it, since every everything goes viral. That's stupid, like that. Hey, you know, think. Okay, speaking of that, so I, you know, I'm not online, so I don't get right. all these like the trends or the newest like little TikTok whatever. Um, mm-hmm. but I heard that the newest trend or fad or whatever you want to call it was people want freckles, freckles. I saw that too. And they're like, they're they doing freckle broccoli? tattoos or, and, and with broccoli. Wait, with broccoli. What? Yeah. So this little, 
I guess it's like a makeup artist or something. Okay. Says dip broccoli. Uh, of I guess a stalk of broccoli or oh, whatever. Oh, because of the little dots on yeah. the and, and for just, it? Yeah, yeah, and you put it on your cheeks like fucking freckles with broccoli. Who who the fuck wants freckles? That just means you have cancer to me. I don't know. Well, or you're a Exactly, or because I like know. I told you, I think I told you this, when it was lockdown, I was outside walking because I wasn't about to get fat like everybody else on lockdown. I was working out. I don't care. I was walking Pomona Bullets and I didn't wear a fucking hat. I had sunblock on, but my face is fucked up from being out during lockdown i have freckles all over like on my cheekbones and they're like they're not like they're not strategically placed obviously <laughs> <laughs> like they look all like all splotchy even with makeup on and i'm like you know what i don't fucking care just like if you see my freckles and you don't like them look away <laughs> so their freckles are there are are they're they... like it's like sun damage i got serious sun damage on my fucking face and I'm still fucking tanning in the tanning bed. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, fuck about the burn spots on my skin. Yeah. yeah but not on my it. face. You're all fuck you ozone layer. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but yeah, I have freckles galore on my face. Shit. Shit. Hmm. Well. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> who'd have thought? Yeah. Who would have <laughs> thought? Hey, do, have you ever got like those skin tags or anything? I don't think it's like in our dna because we're... i've had it um i had one on my neck but you know like you i guess you can freeze them off or whatever yeah yeah i've never had to freeze them off the one that i had though i think it's like because um i was just addicted to like pinching it because you get like you could feel it just a little bit right i guess you've never had one right but i guess i just fucking kept pinching it hard enough or whatever and it finally fell off <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like okay is that all that it takes i'm just gonna keep fucking with this shit so I didn't need to burn it off. But... <laughs> my mom has some skin tags. Yeah. So... Yeah. My, I see the older people or women in my family too. I'm like, oh shit. Is that, is that something I got to look forward to? Like what? And I don't even know what causes that or why or what happens or I don't know. Your skin just starts growing. <laughs> <laughs> it needs somewhere new to grow and it's going to make a mole, but not really. It's a skin tag. And it's all on like the neck, right? Or yeah, I've seen it. Oh. Yeah, the ones that I've seen, the one that I had was on my neck, and then my mom has it. I want to say on her neck too. I think it was her neck. Yeah, I want to say yeah. Yeah, my my aunt has skin tags, and they're on her neck, and I'm just like, what the hell? Is that is that something I have to look forward to? <laughs> what the fuck yeah, I don't know. And I'm fucking younger. The one that I had was probably like 15 years ago, so that was. I don't know. I see it a lot in older people, like you said, but yeah. for some reason I got it really young. Huh. Well, I started getting fucking gray hair when I was like 19. So. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at, um, I just GTS it and I guess dogs get skin tags too. My, you know what? Fenway might have a couple. <laughs> oh, but what is a skin tag though? It doesn't FDA cleared skin tag remover. Okay. Well, whatever. They are common, especially as a person ages and doesn't cause any harm. Skin tags tend to develop when the skin rubs together, such as armpits, anus, thighs, <laughs> eyelids, and neck. Huh. huh. They are more common in people living with overweight and obesity who have folds of skin. There is no medical need to remove a skin tag. <laughs> so it's when the skin rubs together? That's weird. Then how the fuck does it go on your neck? That's what I don't like. Exactly. And then why doesn't, why isn't everybody's armpits filled with skin tags? <laughs> what the anus. Fuck? Can you imagine having one on your anus? And your anus? No. That's fucking crazy. Really? Eyelids. I guess I've seen people with skin tags on their eyelids. Now you that have? Let me think about it. But that. they're not like, maybe they were moles, but they were, I guess, skin tags, but they're not just like the well-pronounced skin tags. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I was like, I just thought that was a sty. That's a skin tag. <laughs> Whoa. Huh, but so but what, what the hell? How is your eyelid going to rub? Like, what? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. It says growth can appear anywhere on the skin, but they usually develop, obviously, where the skin has been rubbing against skin, jewelry, or clothing. So even clothing. What? I guess that makes sense for, like, the anus part. <laughs> <laughs> 
Get your drawers up in your ass. <laughs> yeah, you got a, you got a thong up on in that right. crack. Yeah, you can get skin tags. <laughs> <laughs> shit, shit. Oh my god. Oh, it, you know what? Speaking of a thong, do you own many? No, I don't have any. I used to wear them, but like they're so uncomfortable. I know, right? I don't. I, I guess since we're getting older, we're just like. Mm. But you know what? I don't even really wear underwear, especially since if I wear sweats, I fucking wear it. It was so funny. One day I was talking to Gorilla, and he said something. He's like, "I see everything," and I'm like, "Oh yeah." So what color are my underwear today? And he's like, "What the fuck are you talking about? You don't wear any." I'm like, "Oh, you know me so well." Yeah. <laughs> It's where I'm wearing some today because I have fucking leggings on. It's just like, why can't I just not have to wear underwear? I, just, I don't know. It's yeah, such a pain it, in the ass. Yeah, it is a pain in the ass. It's, it's what the yeah. I don't know. But, yeah, I I don't. I go commando quite often. A lot. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's just like how guys don't like to fucking wear fucking boxers or whatever. I get you. I don't fucking like wearing underwear either. Yeah, I know. Well, speaking of boxers, like, have you, okay, anybody, any man that you've been with, have you ever been with a guy that wears those, like, the tidy whities or the whatever, other than boxers? No, no, they've always been boxers or the boxer briefs, I guess. Huh. Huh. I've never been with it. Well, I've never been with a, a, a an actual European. I wonder if they still wear the um, grape smugglers. I hope they do. <laughs> I hope all you European men that I've grown to love and like the OG ones, at least the ones that are 50 and above, because I'm 50. I hope you guys are still rocking grape smugglers if you're listening. <laughs> Shit. Rock them grape smugglers, bitch. <laughs> Well, we should just we should be more polite and say plum smugglers plums plum smugglers you know what grapefruit smugglers let's go who, I wonder who um came up with the term grape smugglers now that you're talking about let's be more polite you know what you're right <laughs> grape that's, that's cantaloupe that's smugglers <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bullets, you feel like juggling cantaloupes today? <laughs> Great fruit All up in your mouth. <laughs> I love you so much. Shit. Can you imagine if we were drinking right now? We could totally go and I know we'd go. On, the, we, yeah, <laughs> into a whole new another atmosphere. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we would take people on a ride right now if we were fucking That's buzzed. right. Oh, no. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry we're sober. <laughs> um, speaking of sober, um, so my my Long Beach um, buddies, they're all right, one of them, or I guess the, the, group te- the te- group text was yesterday. They're like, so are we meeting up next Saturday? And I thought we weren't. So, And then one of them, they're like, oh, no, I still have to do the upgrade. So I'm like, okay, I guess we're not meeting. And the other one's like, I still want to meet up. I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm like, all right, well, if we're meeting up, I guess I need to start drinking this week for my tolerance. <laughs> I'm like, I want to be able to enjoy just two beers with you guys. And I can't do that, like, totally sober. So we'll see what happens. Oh, uh, well, hey. <laughs> just have a vodka crystal light, I guess. On I was going to have one today, but I don't feel like I still don't feel like it. It's so weird. I'm like, I'm old now. Whatever. Uh, you, you know what? It's. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I, well, shit. (laughs) (laughs) I'm okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just tell you a story um, that happened to me the other day. And, and I just feel that if I had a drink um, in me, it would have been way smoother. Um, (laughs) so, (laughs) So, my neighbor, I don't know. I, I, I drop off my son at karate class and I'm coming home. His class is an hour long. So I okay. just come home. It's a five minute drive to the karate dojo. And I come back home and I see my neighbor's son. His son seems like he's about maybe eh, mid twenties, late twenties. Okay. Um, you could tell that he probably has the easel, you know, he, he lives at home mm-hmm. for, for reasons, I guess. So he waves hi, and I wave hi. I come up my driveway. I go to my door to unlock it. Tell me why the fuck 
a dog. Okay, I, I love dogs. I'm cool with dogs. I'm not scared right? of dogs. This motherfucking was a Beowulf. Like, fucking huge. What what the fuck is this? This was huge. I swear. It's, it's probably an actual wolf. I, you know what? It you was, do live out in the fucking country, bitch. This motherfucking dog. And I was so scared. I was so scared. I was trying to open my fucking door. And uh-huh. this, this dog, legit weighed at least 300 pounds i'm not sure yeah that's a fucking wolf bitch and yeah i was just like what the fuck and it just starts sniffing my fucking leg and it's right up on my porch and i'm trying to open my door okay and i'm thinking to myself okay don't don't ask Let him in. <laughs> yeah don't, yeah yeah it was actually like kind of waiting like i'm i'm about to open the door bitch because i'm right. coming in i don't know and so my neighbor he comes over and he's like, come on, puppy. And I said, is this your dog? And I'm trying to not show fear. Fear. Right. At all. Because I was like, if a bee smells fear, you get stung. If this yeah. dog smells fear, I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. I am so dead. Uh, he's like, come on, puppy. I was like, puppy. <laughs> Shit, this is awful. <laughs> and I said, is this your dog? He's like, no. It's been on my porch for the past 30 minutes, and I don't know wh- who it belongs to. And I was, so that even made me more fucking scared because it, he can't call his dog. Like, it's not your dog, so you can't even right. say, come here. This fucking dog just kept sniffing, and I was trying to hurry up and open my door, but I just, I don't know. I kind of fucking panicked. It was like the longest. So maybe... then what happened? Did he leave you alone? No, the dog just stopped. Stopped sniffing me, but it just kept its nose right on my leg. Oh, shit. And I like, I don't fucking know. Like, thank goodness I don't have Janie anymore and shit. But I was right. like, uh, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I can't run. I can't. I don't. I don't. I don't want it. In, like, this... in the house. Yeah. And, and the guy's just like, puppy, come on. Come on, puppy. Come on. And I was like, this is not a fucking puppy. Take your fucking dog, bitch. I was like, no, it's mother- not your dog. <laughs> and I was like, I, I go, I hope you, good good luck finding the owner. And I just tried to get the fuck in so fast. But the fact of the matter was, it was the longest, maybe, I don't know, it was probably 20 seconds. But it was the longest but 20 still, seconds of my life. Yeah. I was so scared. I was scared, and I. Haven't. And then, did he finally follow the kid to his porch? Well, I don't. I, fuck. You're like, I don't care. I, I, I don't even know what the fuck happened. I was like, I'm okay. just, I'm safe. But yeah, it, it was this. It was just the biggest dog. It looked like a husky dog. That's a wolf. But it was that. just fucking huge, and it didn't have a collar. And I don't know. It looked like it. I don't know. It would probably eat deer. Yeah, it was half wolf or some shit. I don't even know. Damn. I wouldn't even think wolves are that big. Bale wolf, maybe, but like, I don't fucking know. It was just, I just, I wasn't, I'm never scared of dogs, but this motherfucker was just on it. It was just huge. It was like on steroids or some shit. It was just fucking huge. I was scared. And I haven't been scared in a long time. So I was just thinking to myself, like, shit. I haven't been scared. Well, I hope your life insurance policy is up to date. (laughs) It is. But you know what? Good. Glad to hear. I'm so glad. But I think I need to check the beneficiaries. (laughs) Right. (laughs) You're like, some people need to come off this shit. Yeah. Fuck that. You ain't getting shit. Even though I'm not worth too much. But. (laughs) (laughs) You're hilarious. I'm telling you, girl. I don't know. But yeah, I was just thinking. When's the last time I've really been scared scared when's the last time you legit were scared can you remember i can't even think of anything right now i guess life-threatening or just uh, yeah or just something startled you i don't know just like the last time you've been scared i guess the last time you're just your heart started racing because you just were scared nothing comes to mind right now huh huh i know me too I, was like, I do just... get scared or whatever, but I guess not like nothing like what the wolf and you has happened to me that I can recall. Yeah, 
I'm going to have to think about that. And then if I remember anything, I'll bring it up next week. I mean, <laughs> otherwise we're going to sit here for a long fucking time. I know. We're just like, hmm, play the Jeopardy theme song and shit. Did you tell your son? Uh, I did. And my son was so fucking scared because he hates dogs. He hates really? dogs. Really? Yeah. He hates dogs. He oh, hates I didn't dogs. know that. Yeah. He hates dogs. And... Minus Janie, obviously. Uh, you know what? He hated Jane, too. <laughs> Okay, well, let's be real. Yeah, he just doesn't like dogs. I don't know. Uh, oh, okay. But I get it because I think I pinpointed the reason why. And it was because I got bit by a fucking dog when we were oh. walking into Target when he was like three years old. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. It was a little fucking stray ass. Like, I don't know. It was a dog. It was just sitting there by the entrance and it. it seemed like it was just waiting for its owner to come outside i don't know everybody was walking in the mechanic doors or the mechanical doors like just opening people right. were walking through i didn't think anything of it why the fuck did this dog just want to come and fight me like yeah seriously seriously uh yeah well, locked on uh, me and shit and i was like oh my god i get the ptsd for that part then shit. Yeah, i'm like sorry Sorry, son. What? Yeah. I was like, yeah. And poor thing. My son. And he's just like, oh, shit. <laughs> and I was oh, like, shit. glad it's not me. <laughs> I, I, was, I was such a Karen. <laughs> I was like, I went straight to the fucking uh, perox- where the peroxide was. I grabbed Band-Aids. I'm like, I... If you don't want uh, me to... Yeah, st- because it's a fucking dog bite. Yeah. Hello? So like, Fuck you. I, did, I'm not- did he bite you hard? Yeah. I still have the scar to this day. Did you go to the hospital? Oh, well, I went, yeah, I went to the emergency room. You're to like, after, sure. I, <laughs> after, after I, after I fucking used all, yeah, <laughs> after I used all fucking targets fucking, and then are you going to pay for it? No, bitch. Are you, do you want to be sued? I ain't paying for this shit. Fuck you. Right. Yeah. Did they get, do something with the dog then? Or no, no. Was the, so the dog wasn't on a leash? No, it was just like, it was like a whole Thank, person's oh dog. My just fucking, fucking God. There. I know. And damn, I, but I kicked the fuck out of it too, and I was just like, oh "Well, that's God. because you it bit you." So, yeah, it locked onto my hand because I put my hand up to like block it, and it just Shit. locked on, and its fucking canine just ripped my f- oh. skin. Yeah, it ripped my skin so bad where it, you could see the little pulp. The like, oh my God! Did you have to get stitches? No, they didn't give me stitches. Okay, well, I, I guess it wasn't too bad then. Well, they just gave me like some type of like they put like that glue on me. Oh, and they oh, just because you only had puncture wounds, I guess. And I was like, all right. And they gave me um, rabies shots. Sure, yeah, no, they made sure like they, I, I didn't have. Like, they took blood, and then it was like tetanus. I guess a tetanus and a, a rabies oh. shot or some shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, huh. Yeah. Damn, I'm sorry. Good old fucking America for you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't really, I love dogs. Yeah. I don't know. I mean. It's not the fucking angry, aggressive ones that don't have a leash on them that their owner just lets them do their thing. You know, and it looked like a motherfucking like Benji type dog. Like just one of those ratty ass okay. fucking mutts. Yeah. And just didn't have a collar. I don't know. <laughs> fucking Benji. <laughs> <laughs> All the younger, if we have younger listeners, they're like, what the fuck is a Benji? A Benjamin? Like the, the dollar bill or whatever the fuck? Oh, <laughs> shit. I keep forgetting. Yeah. Nobody knows. Probably nobody knows about Benji. Oh, or mm-hmm. Lassie. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hated Lassie and Benji. I like Gentle Ben and Flipper. <laughs> the TV shows. But Gentle Ben, I'm sorry. But Lassie and what was the other? And Benji. That Benji. was just like fucking boring i hated benji i i just thought it was the ugliest little fucking dog benji boring you're gonna save nobody at least lassie saved like what was what was his owner's name or her owner's name? i don't remember oh the doll oh what about flipper yeah i like i like to watch flipper and gentle ben did you ever watch gentle ben i did watch gentle ben yeah yeah always got a good little life lesson out of that one (laughs) Don't poke the bear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit. 
<laughs> oh wow man okay so i'm gonna change topics really quick sure um i got my hair done yesterday right and so my hair's finally grown out to where i can tie it up in a knot okay my, fucking, my hair guy matt he's fucking gay and he has the best fucking hair he used to do drag drag queen stuff oh. before covid and then he stopped doing drag queen whatever drag shows whatever the fuck i don't know anyways he's like medusa now that your hair's long how are you styling it during the week? And I looked at him like he's a fucking crazy person. I'm like, uh, you saw how I walked in here, right? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I tie it up in a knot. He's like, so you're grow- you grow- you're grow- you're growing your hair out just so you can tie it up, tie it up in a knot every day. I'm like, yeah. And he was like, no, 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 no. We're not doing that. We're curling your hair today. I'm like, we're doing what? What? He's like, you can curl your hair in five fucking minutes and have your fucking hair and be like on fleek for the rest of the week or for the day or whatever. I'm like, my hair doesn't hold a curl. And if I knew how to French braid, I even took a French braiding class. I can't French braid for shit. If I could French braid my fucking hair into two, like split it down the middle and French braid and have two braids. I'm like, I could have like beachy waves and that's the only type of the curls I like. Yeah. Well, I'm going to curl your hair anyway. Fucking fine. He's like, see, five minutes. He did it. My hair looked great. And I'm like, but he, he's the hairstylist. So it would take me like 20 minutes. I don't right. have time and patience for that. I fucking, he's like, so what do you do? I'm like, I blow dry it and then I flat iron it. And he's like, oh, you and every girl's on their flat irons. And I'm like, bitch, yes, I flat iron my hair because I don't like the fucking frizz. Yep. And uh, I, don't, I just, my question, Pomona Bullets, do you style your hair? Or are you need- just. I do not. I, okay. I blow dry flat iron. So thank you very much. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know how to French braid, but like sometimes I'll part my hair and then I'll like twist. I'll do a twist and then I'll put the bobby pins in. So my hair will be down, but there'll be a twist in the front and that's the extent of it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm just, if I could learn how to fucking French braid, I'd be fucking beachy, wavy, boho girl like all day long. Hell yeah. I, I, I did buy this fucking blow dryer thing where it's, it's called like a bay something. I don't know. But anyways, you put your hair and you just like, you it blow dries. It's like kind of like a brush, one of those okay. blow dryer brushes type uh-huh. of deal. But it just makes your hair. But I end up looking like fucking Farrah Fawcett and shit. And like, I, I don't know. Oh, like, I know what you're talking about. So is it like a roller? It's a roller hairbrush. Yeah. Hair dryer, but it, ro- it it rolls like it automatically rolls when you're drying it. No, this one doesn't automatically roll. You have to like part your freaking hair in four segments. And okay. you just kind of, I, I, I think there's a specific way to actually fucking do it. But um, yeah, every time I use it, I'm just like, God damn it. Like, it's just, it looks like, I, oh. yeah, I look like him. Well, I like Farrah Fawcett. Yeah, I, like I was like, hair. hey, Charlie's Angels. Here we right. go. Here we go. Yeah. Come on, a bullets would be perfect. Uh, you know what? Actually, I was like, I'm going to throw on some, like, cat eyes and, like, there you go. <laughs> yeah, draw my lips a little bit bigger than they actually are, put the lips a little bit bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, yeah, you know what? I could I could probably rock this look, but hmm, I don't know. But it just falls out. My hair, my hair is so nappy. There's just Yeah, I was gonna say your hair's naturally curly though. My hair isn't curly at all. It just gets frizzy, but it's just stick straight. It doesn't hold a curl for shit. <sighs> That's crazy. Like my hair is just fucking nappy. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And everyone's like, oh my gosh, your hair looks so cute. Yeah, right. It or takes the- forever to wash and blow dry yeah. your flat iron. <laughs> yeah. I need some jerry curl juice. Like, fucking- <laughs> <laughs> it's so horrible. I put so much shit. I remember back in the day when I was in, like, uh, uh, I don't know, junior high, I used to put fucking baby oil in my hair and shit, like, try to tame it. Oh, so you're perfect. anything to get the frizz to go away. Yeah. And then I just started using a motherfucking iron. I was like, I'm going to iron my fucking dickies and I'm going <laughs> to iron my hair. <laughs> dickies and then hair. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to iron my, my um, wife beater and my dickies and <laughs> there you go. Iron my hair. Oh, my hair. Yeah. That was probably the worst thing ever, but yeah, I did that. It was all good. <laughs> 
I'm just trying to figure out how to fucking make beachy waves and not fucking stress out about it. Because I would like beachy waves, but I just, or, you know, wavy hair or whatever. But... Right. You know, what uh. about those um, curlers and they're, they kind of, they're like, they kind of look like, uh, what would you call it? Not styrofoam, but they're that, that I, foamy stuff. The long, and... the long L's, I guess, or whatever. Yeah. And you're supposed to put them in your hair and you just. I have that and I haven't, tr- I bought those maybe last month and I haven't tried it yet. Um, I'm going to try, I guess I'll keep, I'll do it before next Sunday. Okay. But um, I don't know if my hair's long enough on the top. Because I mean, not all of my hair. Maybe on the top part, it would be able to do that. But the rest of my hair, no, because it's still not long enough. Hmm. If that makes any fucking sense, it does. It my does. hair's just barely getting to my shoulders. So, um, maybe by next summer. <laughs> 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 it's been two years since I let my hair grow out. So what? Um, your hair's to your shoulders now? Yeah, it's almost to my shoulders. So, um. The top part, or you know, the front part of my hair. Yeah. So the bottom part of my hair, obviously, has always been at my shoulder, or I guess my shoulders or whatever. But the top hair is finally long enough. Oh shoot! Yeah. So there is that. <laughs> Adulting. Look at that. Like, oh shit. I don't know. Sometimes I just want to shave my whole fucking head. Like, fucking. Same. Um, I was just like, I'm fucking over. That's what I did. Yeah. Like every ten years, I cut my hair or I shave all my hair off. Yeah. I was like, but it's go. just so. I think it's funny that hairstylists are like, oh, yeah, we can, you can do your hair in like five minutes. They all fucking say that, Pomona Bullis. And I'm like, that's because you're the fucking hairstylist. Yeah. You know what the fuck you're doing. So I'm like, I don't have, I don't have time. I, I told my hairstylist, I was like, you know what? I don't even wash my freaking hair four days after you curl it because, like, I, I, I can't do that. I, I can't. My, why do my arms hurt? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> and my brush is now all tangled in my hair because I was trying to un or to comb out the curl and now it's all tangled in. Yeah. I, I don't I don't give a shit. Yeah. I, I do that whole you're gonna make a ponytail, but then when you have your hair tie and you're doing the second little wrap and you just Yep, that's that. how I have my hair now. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I have my hair now too. Fucking twinsies right now. That's right. <laughs> it's fucking out of my I need the hair out of my face. Yeah. And I hate that I have these little hairs that just keep coming down. Like, I want to... All look. the time. Same hair. It's like, what else? Even oh. with the gel and hairspray, it still, like, sticks up because it's yeah. just, like, whatever, you fucking cunt. <laughs> it's so fucking horrible. I hate that. I try to put... And then I have to go to the bathroom. I'm putting more water and that, that little... Exactly. Just keeps coming up, like, little horns. Well, you know. Yeah, like, oh, I guess my devil horns. <laughs> Our um devil woman. Yeah. 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 All right. I think we should wrap this up. We're at 52 minutes, ma'am. Okie dokie. Do you have any parting words for our listeners? I do not. I just hope you guys had a great weekend and please uh be safe out there. I agree. And have a good week. And the eclipse is um tonight at midnight. It so, is. Yeah. So here we go. Solar eclipse. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good week. We will talk to you next weekend. Peace. Bye.